Welcome back to Candy's Classic Game Shrine, everyone. It's been a long time since we've returned to the third dimension, so let's buckle up, put it in hyperdrive, and return to the third dimension to take a look at the Virtual Boy homebrew game, Elevated Speed. The Elevated Speed homebrew was created by a member of the Virtual Boy community who goes by Pizza Rolls Royce. By day, he designs and implements distributed systems. By night, he can be found tinkering with retro stuff or playing Destiny 2. He started working on Elevated Speed in an attempt to understand how retro consoles were programmed, but couldn't decide between the Game Boy Advance and the Virtual Boy. He decided to go ahead and make Elevated Speed in color for the Game Boy Advance, though. In addition to that, he decided to try and port Virtual Boy Wario Land to the Game Boy Advance. Doing so required him to learn about the Virtual Boy in order to reverse engineer the game, and he also had to learn about the Game Boy Advance in order to reconstruct it. While the game wasn't fully ported, you can see a working, playable demo on his YouTube channel, which I'll link below. Along the way, he was still curious about what elevated speed would look like in 3D, so he went ahead and ported it in all its red and black glory to the Virtual Boy. The Game Boy Advance port is actually still maintained, although it suffers from performance issues that he said he needed to work out. This homebrew was started in C++, since that's what he used for the Game Boy Advance development for elevated speed. Since there isn't much support for this language in the Virtual Boy toolchain, there were times where development was painful, but his perseverance paid off. Along with C++, there's also some V810 assembly in there to speed up some of the common computations. All of the program and asset creation was done on your standard Linux desktop, and when it came to testing on the hardware, he used a HyperFlash 32 to test on the device. He also built his own flash cart to develop link play support. This new type of flash cart will hopefully solve space issues and unlock some new potential for the Virtual Boy. It's still in its very experimental phase, but you can track the progress in the Virtual Boy Discord server. Many of the assets you see in this game are created from scratch. There are only some royalty-free assets like some of the music in the jukebox and the cityscape, though that was adapted to suit the game better. As far as other songs in the jukebox go, Pizza Rolls Royce learned sound programming from the Virtual Boy by arranging music from a couple retro games and put those in there as an easter egg. So I know you're all thinking, this is an F-Zero clone. In reality, it's actually inspired by a PC game by Cryo Interactive called Mega Race. Pizza Rolls Royce only played F-Zero for the first time after starting work on this game because he knew comparisons would be coming. With that said, he takes no offense to the term being used because that's now something he uses too. He would eventually love to add more courses or content to this game. He spent a lot of time getting the tools and the game engine to a place where he could support even more content. However, the issue now is cart space issues and time. So what's the story behind this game? The year is 2017. While EM vehicles have been available to the wealthy for decades, a misplaced shipment of military-grade EMV components has fallen into the hands of speed gangs of San Angeles. A new era of racing has dawned. Strap into your cockpit of a futuristic racing machine and step on the boost. Elevated speed takes you to a neon-lit future of 2017 to prove yourself to be the fastest EMV driver on Earth and beyond. Starting up the game, you're greeted with this awesome music and cheeky 1987 copyright logo. We all know the Virtual Boy was created in 95-96. This is purposely done to be silly. Once the brief intro is over, you're brought into the title screen where you see your EMV hovering over the ground. Once you press start, a menu with a few options to choose from will pop up. Here you're able to choose single player, multiplayer, and options. Opening up options gives you the choices of video, audio, and about. Video allows the adjusting of the depth and brightness of the 3D of the game. Audio allows you to adjust the volume level of the background music, and it also gives you access to the jukebox feature that plays music found in the game and some other ones that have been thrown in. The About tab gives the credits and recognition to the creators and those helping with the project. Opening up the single player menu gives you the chance to set up your race. You can simply begin the race with the default settings, or you can go and adjust the settings to your liking. Currently, 
You can choose from 0 to 8 AI opponents, and you can choose between 0 and 9 laps. There is only one course to choose from, and there are no power-ups or takedowns at this time. Opening up multiplayer menu gives you much of the same as the single player menu does. Unfortunately, I don't have a way to record video from my actual virtual boys to show you this. Once your race is set up, select begin race and get ready. You get a neat little clip of your vehicle getting to the starting line, and then you're off. You'll see your position in the upper left corner. Your time is displayed in the dead center on the top. And on the upper right corner is your lap indicator. And underneath that is your lap times for each lap you complete. The controls are pretty intuitive and easy to use. A is accelerate, B is brake, L makes you strife left, R makes you strife right. Start is pause or confirm certain selections. The left D-pad navigates menus and steers your vehicle. As you make your way through the course, beware of the patches of dirt that will slow you down as you race for first place. On the other hand, there are arrows on the ground to help you navigate the course and even shiny boost strips that'll increase your speed as long as you stay on them. Be careful of hitting walls though because it's very similar to F-Zero in that it's very bouncy. When your race is over, you see your EMV racing around the course until you press start to go through the next couple of screens. You will see your ranking in time as well as other racers, followed by your best time and high score lap times. After spending time with this game, I have to say, it's a blast. Racing games are one of my favorite types of games, and to have one this good on the Virtual Boy is a pleasant surprise. The music is quality that you'd expect from a retail game, even though some tunes are royalty free. The sprite design is much better than I expect for a Virtual Boy homebrew game, given the difficulty to develop for the system and the fact that this is just a project of curiosity. Though there's only one course in the game, it was well put together and the jukebox feature is one of my favorite inclusions of the game. I'm a sucker for chiptunes and having a chance to listen without having gameplay beeps and boops interrupting makes it more enjoyable. The 3D element is fantastic in this game. I also love that this is another game for the Virtual Boy that utilizes the link cable. I feel like an engine noise might be a fun feature to add to increase the feeling of immersion, but I understand if it isn't included. The replay factor on this game is about a 7 on a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being the highest replay value. That number could easily go up to a 10 if more tracks or content are added at some point. So that was my review of Elevated Speed for the Virtual Boy. Let me know what you guys thought of the video and the game in the comments below, and until next time guys, take care.